everybody, Mike Pfeiffer with Pfeiffer Hobby Supply. I'm doing a quick video, uh, and I'm doing it on the Trainworks Flexivan trailers. And I'll tell you why. Because I've gotten a hundred phone calls on how do these work. How, you know, guys want to know if they can put modern containers on them, modern trailers, and all that stuff. So I'm going to give you the little tiny itty bitty limited history that I have on Flexivan service. Uh, only because I just recently looked it up again, but uh, I used to model New York Central, and New York Central was one of the big champions of it in the in the uh, beginning. But I'm going to show you how these things work and what you can and can't do, and how or kind of what they were in their day. Okay, everybody. So this is a Flexivan trailer, and I am not exactly sure. Let me see if I can read a date on this. 1961 or 62? I don't know. My glasses aren't that good. It looks like 61. It was new in 1961. So. I'm guessing in the late 50s, early 60s, they started coming out with these Flexivan trailers. And what it amounts to is this portion back here on a real car, you can see that it has some angles on it here. This would turn 90 degrees. I don't think it does on the car. I don't want to force it. But they would turn 90 degrees. Tractor trailer would back up to this and the trailer I don't know if the trailer was lifted or how it actually worked, but the semi-trailer bogey would be dropped off the trailer and the, and the trailer would be backed onto this pivot. And at some point, somehow, they pivoted the trailer around and set the tongue or the pin of the trailer in these little holes here. And somehow they were locked down to, this, to the uh, car how that I do not know but as you can see on this uh, as you can see on this there's no conven uh, place to put conventional containers on number one these were not container cars these were semi trailer cars they hauled semi trailers the idea was to be able to get rid put two trailers on here get rid of the bogies and haul them on a car without having to load the whole entire trailer on the car uh, from both ends. So the the trailer, like I said, from 90 degrees slid onto the to the rotating piece on the end, was rotated around until they could drop the pin into the hole here and lock it in place. And um, so like I say, they normally will not obviously they will not hold any uh, drop center trailer uh, I believe it only works with 40-foot trailers. I, in fact, I know it only works with 40-foot trailers. Um, uh, Trainworks has, has put out a line of trailers for these cars. However, I know that Trainworks also has other 40-foot trailers that already exist. Now I'm going to show you how the trailer fits on the car and how it's held on there because that's another question I get. And no, I have another question that's been asked of me. Uh, do they have the hitch to put the hook a trailer to? Well, no, because that's not how they work either. There is no hitch there that the, that the fifth wheel pin hooks into other than when the car is flat on the spine car. So there is no other hitch. There is no other parts other than what comes with the trailer as you saw it when I held it up. So let me get a trailer out and I'll show you how they fit on there. Okay, for the demonstration... I have two trailers. I have obviously removed the bogies from the bottom. They just fit in the little holes here in the bottom. Then when you buy these 40-foot trailers, you can move the bogies forward and backward to replicate whatever length of pull they were able to pull with the tractor they had. You can see that they come with a fifth wheel pin on them. Uh, the bottom of both cars is the same. And I do believe that the bottom of all their 40-foot cars are built like this. So any of their 40-foot uh, cars will work on here. Other 40-foot cars, I have no clue. Don't start asking me that because I don't know. I'm only testing their cars. Now, to hold them on the car, and by the way, these cars are metal. So they're quite heavy, okay? And I assume that they're going to stay on the track well. The first thing I thought is there might be a magnet in the back of here 
and this plate that you see right here may have a magnet in it but it does not however that hole right there is tapered so when you set the trailer in place on the back of the car and you put the pin in the hole and you press down on it it will st that pin will stay in there well it stayed in there before anyway it's it sits on there and it's pretty stable uh, I don't know if it will hold upside down but that pin when you force the trailer down into that hole that pin uh, uh, it goes into that taper and stays there I'm gonna put the other New York Central car on there as a demo as well I don't know how much luck I'll have at this I'm afraid they're gonna fall but you can see that that's how they stay on the car is by the taper of the pin keeps them in place on the car and if I move the car back and forth they don't wiggle side to side or anything they sit on the car very nicely this is like exactly how the cars worked in real life and this is what the car looks like with the trailers on it without bogies and as you see this was an early attempt at containerization before containers existed so no these do not hold conventional containers because they don't they don't attach like that this is a semi trailer on a on a, a beam car so uh, anyway this is how they look I'm gonna put it on the track and take a close-up picture of it okay you can see on the wider radiuses here that they the the car has no trouble making those radiuses here it's going to run through two number sixes let's see how it does and see how stable it is it actually went through there well I do not know what the radius is back there. We'll see if it stays on. I want to say that's a 12 back there, and it looks like it made it around there. Uh, maybe it was me finagling it. But anyway, uh, I just wanted to give you a shot of the car actually in motion on a train and show you how stable it is and how nice it looks. Okay, everybody, I hope you got something out of that, and now I hope everybody that keeps calling me <laughs> understands exactly how these work, what they will, and what they will not do. Um, so that's it for today.